Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Gray, and we have uh, a reaction video to show you guys, and it's called Venom Distraction Centipede Bite Aftermath by Brave Wilderness, and I really didn't know if I should watch this or not because I didn't think it would be entertaining, but I watched a couple clips. Obviously, I'm not gonna. They're gonna just go straight into something and waste y'all's time. So we can go straight into this. Um, don't know what to expect. Um, I did. I did see some parts, so I know what to kind of expect, um, but nothing too much. So we're gonna head into it. And I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. Just go the cameras, go the cameras. We gotta get the venom extracted. We gotta get some venom on my arm. Go for the views, man. Go for the money. What you got, bro? I'm on cameras. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Um, Mario, here. Um, can you turn on the satellite phone just in case? I'm going to get this venom extractor out. So what I'm imagining is they're going to show some information about the centipede, and then they're going to show some information, like the video of him actually getting bit and them solving the bit, the bite. So that's what I'm going to say. Oh my gosh, guys, okay. Uh, uh. Tourniquet or no tourniquet? Uh, yeah, use, give me, I just want to like, it so it can, I think I'm going to vomit. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. All right, Mar, you're going to have to keep roll on this. We've got the GoPro going too. Okay. And it's spreading, right? It is spreading. It is spreading. Now, we have never used a venom extractor before in an episode, guys. Guys, and uh, it is so painful bit. right now, and given the isolation of, of where I was bitten. When I was bitten by a monster, my thumb, we couldn't use venom extractor. I'm going to try and see if we can't suck some of that venom out of my out of my forearm. Uh, the pain is so bad, I actually was almost in tears. I'm going to cut camera for, ah. Uh, I'm going to try to just get some of this off, so I don't want to put venom back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually see the venom seeping out of that. Those edge of my arm. Like look at the welt that is swelling. Man. Now, if a centipede it's attacks crazy. a prey yeah, item. Yeah, I feel it's swelling bad. Ugh. Okay, so there's there's two sites. There's site one, site two. Do you know which was first? Uh, uh no, no. The I one up front was the first one, and then it tucked the tent back and it bit again. And actually, you can see the black and blue mark there. I actually think that second spot injected more Hopefully venom. Have no so what you want to do is cut the back. If you ever get bit, call. Yeah, I take shot on that. Uh, especially if you. Ah! Ah! You can actually see the venom coming up through the holes with the fangs. When you can see that, see if you can zoom in on that. <clears throat> you gotta tell us if you feel like you gotta get out of here. Get you out of here. Okay, I like the heal monster bite. It comes in waves of pain. Right now, I'm at a, I'm at a downtrend in the pain. Now. Give me just ah! <laughs> Ugh, waves of pain, guys. Ugh. Okay, let's Probably take this like off. Your forearm's getting cut off. Okay, I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I gotta put my camera down. Ah, ah. Here we go, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ah. and I'm gonna take it down. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Okay, Ooh. zoom in on that. Ah. Definitely see the Ah. Oh my gosh, you could see the destruction in the arm right there. See how black and blue it's already turning? It is not, uh, it is not as bad as the Gila Monster. In the sense that the Gila Monster sliced through my thumb and opened me up. But this Dang. absolutely eclipses 
any insect sting I have ever taken. It makes the bullet ant feel like a bee sting. It makes third. Chill on. Uh, so we do not need 1440. We won't need that. Sorry, guys. It's Stings to the face feel like putting on facial moisturizer. This is the most intense pain I have been in since the Gila Monster. And in this moment, I am regretting being bitten by the giant desert centipede, guys. I do have this tourniquet on me just lightly placed. You don't ever want to place the tourniquet down too tightly because if you do, all you're doing is forcing your heart to beat faster and that venom to pump through your, through your system quicker. Now, okay, I'm going to wipe that back and we're going to put the extractor on a second time. Is it pens and needles pain? Or oh, no, it is searing pain. It is someone has taken a hot poker and shoved it into my forearm. My arm is in a state of paralysis right now. I cannot move my hand at all. My arm is swollen taut. Ugh. Let's do a second extraction here. Yeah, yeah. you can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This actually hurts really bad just to One, do this, right? Two, three. Ah! Ah! Ooh. That venom extractor just puts so much isolated pain right in that area. Ah! Is it subsiding? Is it? Looks like it is. Now the venom from the giant desert centipede has a cocktail of potency, and that cocktail is called cytolysis. And right now what's happening is that venom is attacking my red blood cells, and it is breaking them apart, and that is the pain that I am feeling right now. And trust me when I say it is unbelievably intense. <clears throat> wow. Let's take off the venom extractor. All right, to do that, I got to turn this and just unlock it, right? Okay, ready? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a bump. It's a bump in the road. Okay. Damn. You can show that with the GoPro. Man. The question is, what'd you do? Man, that is painful. Ooh. It is easily as Wait, bad as I imagine. What are you doing to my bike? Oh, my gosh. There's you guys. Oh, man. First time we ever had to use the venom extractor. The venom seems to have stopped at about the area where we had the tourniquet, which is good. I do believe that the venom extractor helped. Right now, all I want to do is simply get out of the hot desert sun and into an air-conditioned environment. All I can say is this, guys. If you ever come across one of these mirror pods in the wild, simply admire it from a very safe distance. Do not try to catch it. Do not try to handle it because take my word for it. This pain is absolutely, unbelievably intense. You do not brave. want to be bitten by this animal. It's a I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. I would not do this at all. Stay wild. I've been like, kill we'll yourself. Kill your whole family. Cause unless they gave me... $100,000. How much? If you ever have an encounter with a giant desert centipede in the wild, it it's important to remember that these Reasonable. animals do their best Nobody to avoid humans. And interactions, let alone bites, or would you do are for incredibly rare. Or would you do it for As the hours bills, pass by, bills my hard. arm bills continued to throb. Economy and the worst part hard. of it all was that with every wave that rushed through my body, the pain was only intensifying. Several hours into the ordeal, I threw up the white flag and requested medical treatment for the bite. This was the first time that my Should mind and body were unable to endure the pain of a bite or a sting. It was truly that bad. All right, guys. Well, it has been 30 hours since I was bitten by the giant desert centipede. Now that you've seen me go through this, hopefully you will truly take away a message that is you simply admire these things from a safe distance. I do not want to see pictures out there on Instagram or Facebook no or Snapchat of anybody handling Please. one of these myriad pods. Guys, no I'm tough, right? We know I that. I've got a high pain tolerance, but this...
put me over the edge. It is more pain than I have you. ever been in. You can see on my face. I'm Swipey exhausted yeah. right now. Swipey. I have not slept in 36 hours, and it's a pain I'm, I'm that I could stop. That was the scariest part, is when the pain was taking over my arm, all the way up into my shoulder. I Probably couldn't stop it. It was <clears> anything, bro, worse. Anything. In all of my time filming episodes for the Brave Wilderness Monkey Channel, I have not once gone to see a doctor run. after a bike okay. or a sting. The giant no doesn't say people though. be energetic. That's how serious it is. In the end, Ooh. was facing Ooh. my fear of being bitten by this nightmare of a creature Ooh. worth did in we the even end, see that part? Was facing my fear he of being bitten it. by this nightmare of a creature worth it? <laughs> well, oh. at first as I rolled around on the He grabbed that skin, bro. He grabbed that skin and tore into it. Around in agonizing pain, I would have told you no. <laughs> However, now that the pain is long gone, and all that remains are the haunting memories, I would actually have to say that yes, it was worth it. Because together, we learned about the giant desert centipede, and most importantly, how bad the bite really is. If you are ever unfortunate enough to be bitten by one of these animals, seek medical treatment immediately. Are you even As for me, I'm sure that some of you still think I am absolutely crazy, but at least I can now proudly say that what was once my fear of centipedes has now evolved into a newfound fascination and respect for one of the planet's creepiest creatures. If you thought extracting venom from my arm looked- All right guys, I think that's the end of the video. That was some crazy shit getting bitten by a, a giant desert centipede and trust me, that thing was giant. Um, if it was human size, it'd probably climb up a, a skyscraper. Is a big ass King Kong looking thing, but uh, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe, like, and comment down below. How much money would you take to get bit by one of those things? You told him talk about the pain. You, I mean, you hear him talk about the pain. The pain. I don't know. That's why I said hundred. That's why I said hundred. Maybe, maybe sixty thousand.